Well, hello. Welcome to our episode titled Small Council Meeting. In this episode, Daenerys Stormborn, a.k.a. The Khaleesi, Jon Snow, a.k.a. King of the North, and Tyrion Lannister, a.k.a. Tyrion Lannister, must formulate a plan on how to create a meeting to speak with Tyrion's evil, ruthless sister, Cersei, about potentially forming a possible strategic alliance. There is a a threat in the North. There is a army of the dead, AKA the Night Walkers, AKA the White Walkers, also known as just a big army of zombies that is coming down out of the snow to eat everybody, turn everyone else to zombies, and pretty much just kill everyone. All the key leaders from those regions realize that the only way to keep everyone from being eaten and turned into ruthless, crazy looking zombies is to put aside all their differences, create some alliances, and come together as a team. The intent of this meeting is to get the evil Cersei to join forces with the key leaders of these regions. Cersei, Cersei is a Lannister, and there's two things that the Lannisters have. They have gold and they have soldiers. Um, Lannisters also always pay their debts. Fun fact, doesn't really have anything to do with small council meetings, but they do. Um, So if they can get Cersei on board and try to help out and create these alliances, they will have a lot better chance of defeating this zombie army that is coming in from the north. She will have to make an arrangement with Jon Snow and Daenerys. Daenerys has an army of Unsullied. The Unsullied are just a bunch of dudes that follow instructions really well and they kill everyone. Uh, And she also has a bunch of dragons. Bunch being three, still more dragons than everyone else. So that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. Uh, And they will she will use that part of her army to try to defeat the White Walkers. This alliance with Cersei, if she can, if her and Jon can convince Cersei to form one, will help them share some of the risk associated when trying to fight the Northern Army of the Dead. And then creating part of this strategic alliance is going to ultimately lead to globalization of the Seven Kingdoms. You have the key leaders of each one of these kingdoms. They are bringing in their resources. So you're gonna start creating trade. You're gonna start building alliances. You're going to start uh, bringing civilizations together. They're gonna have to understand exactly which way or how this civilization works, how this group of people works, how the people of the North work, how the people of King's Landing that Cersei rules works. By bringing all these people together, they're going to essentially begin to globalize and unite to create one kingdom out of seven. Globalization is taking corporations from a global community, also the seven kingdoms, and bringing them together, whether it be by trade of goods, technology, money, alliance, any of that stuff. Um, Stated in Friedman's book, The World is Flat, there are positive and negative effects of globalization. Anytime there is any competing firm, company, kings, rulers, competitors, you can cause harm and distrust to the locals. All these, to form this alliance, they have to be able to trust Cersei. Cersei has to be able to trust them. They have to be able to not have people that are used to being enemies. Now they need to trust each other. They need to work and fight together to fight this inevitable army of the north. A major factor in trying to create a global community is the institutional environment. An institutional environment, to put it simply, are the rules that operate within a country's boundaries. These rules could be the the rules of the different seven kingdoms. You know, the the people of the north that John Snow rules may have a different set of rules that they operate with than the Khaleesi's people, than the Unsullied operate with, than the people of King's Landing that Cersei rules operate with. They all operate differently. They're all different complex societies will have different complex policies. 
John and Daenerys will have to try to figure out how to arrange this meeting without violating the institutional environment that has been set at King's Landing by Cersei. In the event that they arrive and potentially violate one of these rules or policies, it could ruin the chances of an alliance and potentially bring the Seven Kingdoms together. Uh, knowing a competitor's institutional environment is crucial. If they do not pay attention, the alliance cannot be created. Thus, the army of the dead zombies will come down, kill everybody, and that's the end of the story. So, hang on to your seats, pay attention, and enjoy the show. <laughs>